thoughts for IG grabbing up the dazzle there at the end? I mean, you're gonna have the shallow grave to keep your. Uh, you just said screw it. Uh, I'll go ahead and just hunt down the slurk. The poor man's shield does a lot of work blocking up the shadow wave, but it's still like hitting on all the spiders there right next to the slurk, and it does uh, do bring a bit of pain. Mid lane though, it's gonna be Chuan. Last punch from Kaka. He's going down, and burning is kind of caught out a little bit. It is gonna be the Fisher, and not just blocking his path, not stunning him out, but either way, he's a long way from home. Yeah, he has to go up and around now. He's trying his best, but he sees air. He can, he can get him on the way out. No! So, there's a tease coming out from air right there. I mean, I understand it was one auto attack away from finishing off that pesky little sniper, but they're over. The reality rip and the tether slow onto air. Huge kill if they can finish it, but that damn leech seed keeps them alive for so long. The last right click is not enough, and Kamaka gets the return. It's Tron going down again. Just the shrapnel, just the leech seed, and that living armor. Now they're making it go again on the ZSMK. Very aggressive as they move way Radiant past the tower. tower. A tethered up brood here with Chuan. They get the slow, they get the heal, which is huge damage, and they get the kill. Suddenly Luo is 3-0 now on his brood mother. He has just swarmed over this bottom lane. They already got the tower down, and they're just taking absolute control down here. Mid though, Burning is gonna take a big hit. They are able to combo up with the Leech Seed, the uh, slow from Shrapnel, and uh, just the right click damage with the Thunder Strike. It's gonna be another kill against the Chaos Nine and Burning. He's just had a really rough match. And Ready, and that Sonic Wave could be trouble mid lane. They're gonna make the go. They get the Reality Rift to bring back air, and he does get the Living Armor. Help is on the way in the form of Pretty Hot. They get the glimpse to send Ferrari back, but it's too late. He already dishes out the Sonic Wave, and he gets the job done. It's just like a free return back to lane to farm on up almost. And Westbrook, who wants to get the rune. Oh, he doesn't get it. Now he's in trouble. They get the rift onto him. They pull him back, and he is done for. It is a quick three-man drop as they also got, yeah, bottom lane as well. Ridiculous. IG now on the serious comeback. It started as, what, 4-0, I think? There, but they actually considered making the go, and he quickly goes up to the nature's guy. There's Pretty Ha. Glimpses back Chuan. They could get him. That slow attack even. Kaka can't even hit him, but they are able to bring both supports down. A one-for-one -one support trade. Air now Top could be pressured as the broodlings start crawling on through to slow him down. Burning is moving on forward. He has the stun, level three, and well, he'll pull back. Man, this game is turning into. But they already have so much magical damage that they're not really lacking. You know, well, Ferrari. Oh, the even with the heals from Chuan. Oh, oh enough. my the lord! Magic Chuan's magic stick keeps Ferrari alive, and he just blows them all to bits. Unbelievable. Oh, Chuan sneaks in through the mid lane. After cleaning those two to two towers up, he's going to put pressure here. Air eats a little bit of damage. He's going to have to get saved from the nature's guys now. But they still somehow see him. Now they're looking to make a go on to Faith. Glimpse is there. They pull him back. They get him in. Kinetic Field will lock him in place. And, well, he's able to hold on a bit with a shallow grave. But here comes Burning side by side with Chuan. They got Luo here as well. They're going to bring down Air potentially. He is going to be put under Nature's guys. Healed up, but Ferrari gets him with the scream. Chuan will end up being the return kill. Pretty hot. Very low. Able to slip out. And now they could get Kaka. Oh, God. Barely alive with the nuke right there. Here comes the SMJ. Now he's going to get knocked in the noggin with a stun. They dish out the Kinetic Field. They're going absolutely crazy in a Royal Rumble in this mid lane. Double kill for ZSMJ. He gets the grab onto then Ferrari. Then Luo takes down Westbrook. Now could get ZSMJ here. One more auto attack. Got him. Gets him with the nuke there at the end. Double kill for Luo. Holy moly. It's just all over the place and now he's going for a dag and get up as well. So when we look at the fight. A lot of work against the sniper, but it looks like HGT will at least prevent this attempt. Yeah, they're looking to contest here. The Roche has been brought down to about a quarter of its life already. Oh my, the damage. Pretty Haw's like dead. Sonic Wave cleans him up, and here comes Burning in from the high road. Able to get the pullback on the Westbrook. He's going to go down immediately. ZSMJ to follow. It's a slaughter right here. IG, move on through. They've already brought down four. They already see air. There's going to be the committed jump. It's a five-man wipe and an easy rush to follow here from IG. Game one, we question what was happening with IG, but game two, they, they're they ready. They shook it off, and they look so good. He's a sniper. He needs to get farmed, but the second he inches towards the lane, here come the Broodlings. They trap him actually inside the corner oh where a sonic God. wave comes on through from Ferrari, and now comes Chuan and Burning. 
could get the Reality Rift, will do so. They try to stop him with the Overgrowth here, but it's not. They get down two mid lane. They're looking to go on to Faith, who gets the Shallow Grave. They take Westbrook down, and now it's ZSM Dre trying to fight and get some redemption. He is able to bring down Faith, but he's going to go down there next. Quickly, a triple kill for Luo after he was just brought down, and now they're going to get Kaka. He's spotted out. He's taken down another five-man wipe where all of Hyper Glory team just get decimated. IG only lose their Dazzle. They're going to be picking up a mid lane tier one, and we're on the verge of seeing a pretty early game number three blaze if this keeps up.